Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. It's uh, just after Christmas here and I'm out in between lifts on my uh, squats and overhead presses. And I've been thinking about this for a while. Uh, James Yeager, when I took fighting rifle or fighting pistol, I can't remember which, he had this article in the back of one of his course materials. And it was this article about, you know, someone out there is training to kill you. And they have very little food and they have very simple gear and they sleep very simply. And, you know, he's referring to like some Middle Eastern terrorist, right? Uh, and basically they're trained to kill you. What are you doing to counteract that? What are you doing to prepare for when that person comes to try to kill you? And sometimes I think that can be a helpful way to look at your life when you look at the, the discipline of your life and the discipline of your habits, right? So again, it's, it's just after Christmas. It's the day after Christmas when I'm filming this. And I'm out here trying to get my lifts in because we gotta get back to the grind, right? And one of the ways that I think about it sometimes is if someone was building a dossier on me, right? And, and they were gonna present me as the target in front of a group of people. Uh, what does that dossier say? What do I want that dossier to say, right? Do I want it to say, oh, you know, well, Dylan wakes up uh, about 10 minutes before he has to go to work and throws his clothes on and rushes out the door and goes to work and comes home and then sits on the couch for the next four hours and eats potato chips. Um, and, you know, he eats like garbage. He doesn't really do anything to self-improve himself at all. And, you know, then goes to bed at like 1130 midnight before he wakes up again to do it all over, right? Or do I want that dossier to say like, you know, Dylan wakes up early and he's reading or he's dry practicing or he's lifting and he's doing something. Like everything this guy does is intentional and purposeful. And, and he's always constantly thinking about this because he's reading these different things and he's really working on his technique. And the other day we watched him, he, he dry fired for two hours. Like that's all he did. We sit there and just dry fire to perfect his reload. That's all he did was reloads for two hours. And then, you know, he goes to work every day and he does very well there. And by all accounts is an outstanding employee and then he comes home and he, he loves his wife well and loves his kids well this guy has like deep uh, philosophical moral rooting in what he believes and like he's he's committed man like he's ideologically committed to what he believes and he is like a strong mind and character because he follows through with that and he does things and he has really strong friendships across the board with all the people that he's close with and you get my point, right? Like, what, what do you want that dossier to say? Do you want them to be afraid when they give that briefing? This is a guy you do not want to mess with. We are considering them extremely hazardous to our team, right? Or do you want them to be like, <laughs> this guy, I don't even know why we're doing this, this guy's a chump, right? Like, what, what, what do you want it to say? What do you want that dossier to say? So, I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you a little bit of motivation. Take an honest look at your life. What does your dossier say, right? Or what do you want it to say? and then live accordingly. Do brave deeds and endure.